Hello everybody and welcome to Agrarian Skies episode 12, I think. Um, in the last episode, which I'm, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to actually upload the last episode. I felt like it was a bit mean, but um, we'll see. Um, in the last episode, we basically, I mean, oh, we started setting up that thing and I told a story. Um, so I did a lot today and yesterday. Um, and so you can see we're going to finish this today. Number one. Number two, we're going to work on the, um, one of these. We're going to work on the laser one. Um, because I have that stuff ready. So let's just take a tour of what I've changed. I moved my bed inside. Um, I died a lot. Then, um, what's next? Let's go this way and just go around. Oh, yes. So there's a lot of new ME stuff that I've automated. Right now it's off because I turned it off, but... Um, just wait. So basically, I'll just, we'll start with this thing. I added another floor as well. So we've automated importing gravel, sand, and dust into this. And this should be working. Yeah. And so anytime there's any gravel, sand, or dirt inside of our AE system, which is this thing, which it's the A system's off right now. It'll send it into here. Then, of course, when the stuff gets sieved, it gets thrown into here, into here, see? Which gets uh, hoppered into this chest. And then this stuff gets sucked into the A system right here. This is a precision import, but it's set to nothing. I could have used the basic one, I guess. I just thought I just had that. And then here's the, the meat. So this is the packager. It imports uh, any all of these things, right? Oh, what the heck? There we go. It imports this stuff, and then it outputs this stuff. So blocks of charcoal right now, but um, it'll output... Is there no power? Oh, yeah. Let me go grab some power then. I know there's one right here. There's power in the AE system, but it's off, so. I forgot I turned this off. Okay. So now you'll see it's going to start producing stuff. And it's not going to get sucked out yet because the AE system's off right now. But what will happen is it'll go into the AE system and come back out over here. And what this is, is... This is a hammer, and if you stand there, it'll punch you. And this is the kind of uh, storage. So what what it will do is it'll import this stuff. It'll go into here, and then he'll place it. This guy will break it with the hammer. And then it'll go back into the A system, into this vacuum hopper here, like this. Right? Uh, and this is connected through this long cable. So then we have power. Next thing is this. So um, this is going to be our new output. This is gold. This is iron only. And this is copper only. It's filtered, so only copper will go in. And the way you do that is tons of fun. You basically um, you get this... Uh, I want to say it's the table. You put your bucket in the table, and then you pour the liquid on top, and it goes inside the bucket, and then you put the bucket in the thing. So, let's see. We got a bunch of stuff. This stuff, coagulated blood, if a mob dies in there, there is blood inside the system, right? And, obviously, it, this doesn't work. I thought this would work, but apparently not. I'm just going to throw these. Actually, let's see. There we go. Um, so, ooh, my FPS is 
down. What the heck? Oh, it's probably because of that. Oh, yeah, definitely that. Okay. That should help. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, that helped. Okay, so blood is nice because this stuff, as you can see on the bottom of the tooltip, it's set up to be um, slime balls. So you can use this as slime. This is how I've been getting slime. Okay. So next thing we'll go... We'll go on the top floor and then go down. So next thing is this farm. You guys know of it. I moved the packager, so that's what was here. I got rid of all these uh, things here. They're in the A system. Uh, cobble gen here with an import. Then I have my pulverizer situation. This is how I'm getting gravel sand and dust. Uh, this is basically where the farm empties out from the wood farm. It goes into here. Any rubber bars, raw rubber, rubber trees go into these redstone furnaces and then get put into here. This is also what I used to smelt other random things. Um, this is my fishery here. It's downstairs, but... And then this is a cyclic assembler that I don't use. This is where the mob farm used to be. I moved it down and put clear glass so I can see it. Um, I added another section on this side here. Um, I disconnected the cable that was running here and moved it downstairs. Um, I lit up more of this just so that things don't kill me. And I filled in these uh, heat vents on the side and we're going to finish this today hopefully and then we can run power. I added a hardened energy cell here to kind of be a buffer. That It's off right now, see? Zero. So this is off, but I'll turn it on immediately. We added a magma crucible, uh, fluid transposer, induction smelter. Shouldn't that work? Induction smelter and energetic infuser. That's to power this thing. Okay, now let's go downstairs on this side, I guess. Okay, so after this, we'll go this way. This is my power gen right now. So what this is, is this is a daylight sensor. And when it's on, that means it's daytime. So right now it's powering this torch, which makes this off, right? And these are solar generators. These are pretty easy to make but they require diamonds okay, solar generator they require diamonds so i only made two this is a new thing this is a redstone energy cell it holds a lot of power right now i'm not outputting as you can if you see through the back see it's not connected i'm not outputting this so i want to see how much this stuff can generate and these are both full so hopefully this will fill up and then i'll connect it and drain it out into the power this is a high temperature furnace. Right now it's empty, but that's because it's being pumped out, of course. Um, this thing is, has been running for a pretty long time. I just put in all the saplings I had, all the charcoal that was in the, um, the I don't even know what they're called, steam dynamo. I had a bunch of uh, charcoal blocks in there, put them in here, and it, it said running for like, 120 minutes or no yeah 120 minutes maybe which is two hours it's running into these two hardened energy cells which are empty because they're outputting up there sorry then i have these pulverizers here that are made for um pulverizing cobble right now they're not doing anything but you know they're here uh i was using it to get some electrum for the energy cell over there then what's next this is my fishing fishing stuff uh this one's out of who this one is out of uh bait but they both work this is the bottom of the spawner okay um i have a grinder here 
which basically will just kill those things, but it's off right now. Um, when it kills those things, it produces mob essence and items. And so the items go in here, and then they get sucked in through this uh, precision import bus. Then we have the mob essence, which goes into this tank, and then the tank is run downstairs. So right here is um, my Enderman spawner. I made one of the... Uh, Sugar. Crap. Crap, it's because power is off. Okay. I forgot, I guess, creepers don't blow up things. So what this is, is this is a grinder here with an auto spawner. And auto spawners take mob essence, power, and um, one of these, which is a safari net. Safari nets are pretty easy to make, so... Safari nets. It's just a gas tier, which you can get from uh, Soul Sand, which is how I got mine. I have, and then Ender Pearls. So I got four Ender Pearls, and then I caught an Enderman when it was nighttime. And basically, the way this works, yeah, okay. So right now I have power cut off to it, but what it'll do is it'll spawn Enderman in this room, and then this thing will kill it, and then I get Ender Pearls. So, and then of course, because it's dark in the room, things spawn, but that doesn't matter. Uh, next up, downstairs, I made another layer. It's very tiny. It's just so I could run these wires, because it needs mob essence. Mob essence. So, um, I think that's everything that I changed. Here's the bucket of sludge that we haven't moved yet. Uh, I added a bunch of staircases all over the place. Just because I was getting sick and tired of going to the one all the way in the corner there, especially when I was right here. Um, but so I made the parts for this. So this is a. Uh, let's turn this back on. Oh, I made a bunch of these things. They don't seem to be working. Like this one should be cobble, but there's no cobble in it. But yet there's 55,000 cobble in my thing, so I don't. Don't really know how that works, but that's okay. Um, you can see sand and gravel are now moving out to the uh, sifters. I'm just gonna pop this stuff in here. Okay, so we need the heat vents. Okay, we need heat vents. We need the crafting CPUs. And we need the par pattern provider. Okay. We're going to need more of these, actually. We need at least, like... Okay. Let's try that and see if that's enough. Okay, so... We put in the CPUs. Nine CPUs seems good. And then, I guess... Hmm... We can do either more crafting... Which one's cheaper? This one requires a diamond. This one also requires a diamond. This one requires Certus Quartz and Glowstone. This one just needs... Well, this one needs a bunch of stuff. How about we do... How many spots do we need left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll do four of each. How about that? Okay, and then... Crafting... CPU. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, so a pattern, pro pattern provider, CPU, and then the heat vents. Boom, and that works. So now we just need to get some ME cable and. Uh, 
What is this? Oh, this is my partition ender. This can be anywhere, because it doesn't, uh... It doesn't hook up to power or anything, it works without it. So let's run this wire. So now, we have this. So, this thing is pretty nice. We're missing, I think, one thing for the... Yeah, we're missing the pattern encoder, so let's make that. Pattern... Encoder. Just need one, and then we need blank patterns. And we just need one, but we're gonna make a couple. Okay. So, I don't think this thing needs to be connected either. Yeah. So what you do is you're gonna put these blank patterns up here. And then let's choose a crafting recipe like wood to planks, like this, right? Boom. You hit encode. And you have the recipe right here. It says, crafts four oak wood planks with one oak wood, right? So now let's do um, sticks, right? So let's get sticks. Oh, sorry, stick. We're going to want to get rid of that, actually, and get normal wood. Two pieces of wood, one, four sticks, boom. And then now you take this stuff and you put it in here. And what that allows you to do is, let's say we don't have any sticks, which we don't actually, you can see right here. So you just click craft and then you hit how much you want to craft. So let's craft, uh, I don't know, we can craft a stack. So you hit begin. And then you can see it already created it from the wood that we had. So that's pretty nice. Um, so I think that's everything on there. So this thing is a yellow heart. Which is good because that gives us more health. Almost out of BLTs. Okay. What is this? Greater reward bag. Nether redstone ore. Okay, we're just going to put that away. And these are ME interfaces, but we're not going to deal with them right now. So next thing is this automated mining thing. So let's uh, make that. I made most of the things already, I think. Laser. Let's start with the precharger. Oh yeah, we're going to need pink slime ball. Okay, so let's not do that one first. What are we missing? Hardened glass. Isn't this how you make it? Oh, you need eight. Let's hope we have some obsidian. Oh my god, we have eight. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. Let that pulverize. Oh, it takes a while. Okay. Oh, because there's no power? Oh, yeah. What the heck? Actually, let's not do that. Let's go to here and grab these. You'll put them in our furnace. The reason there's no power um, is mostly because I'm not using these two solar generators. They're not actually doing anything right now because they're just feeding this. So you can see this is going up, but these are not really going anywhere because this is not outputting. Um, but yeah, we'll deal with that. Okay, so we need this. 
Wow, we got a lot. Okay. Get our hardened glass. And then we need pink slime, which is... I don't think that's going to be easy to make. If I remember correctly. Okay. And so this needs to be placed over the void. So we're basically going to put it over here, I guess. Because uh, it needs, to, well, I guess it needs to be have it needs to have power and stuff. So we'll put it over here, maybe. I don't want to fall off. We'll put it here. Yeah. Does it need the sky and the void? Uh, let's see. In this pack, there are two. Ender quarry laser drill needs to be pointed at the void and will work better if it's at Y level 128 plus. It requires at least one laser drill precharger. The power supplied one precharger can use up to 500 5,000 RF per tick. A single laser drill can be powered for up to four. Do not send a laser. Okay, that's fine. So, I mean, we're probably going to not turn it on, but let's just do this quest. So, next thing is pink slime. And I think pink slime is made with a meat packer, if I remember correctly. Which actually doesn't seem too hard to make, so let's go do that. The poison just means that our farm is working. <laughs> okay. Meat... Okay, we don't have anything. Okay, we need more clay. Can you pulverize this? No. Okay, that's fine. It's not much faster, I guess. Oh man, it's already been 20 minutes. Jeez. It's, it always is a lot. It, it always feel like when I get to the end of the episode, I always feel like it's been a very short time normally when I do all the cuts, and then the one when I actually do, um, no, the opposite. I always feel like I'm filming more than I need for the ones where I do cuts, but then like, I have these episodes where I don't cut at all the entire episode, and I feel like we're only like two minutes in, but we're actually like twenty. Uh, did we run out of power? What? Yeah, we're not making the, like, 18. Well, we don't really need that right now. While we wait for this, anyway. Uh, this one should be out. Hey, there we go. That should pump some in. Actually, don't know where it's going right now. Um, that's full, but I don't know if it's actually using power. This is cut off, so that isn't using power. Uh, these things, I guess, are using power over here. So it is possible. But this is our, like, ore processing, so we kind of need to... You know what? Let's turn it off right now. Okay. Let's get on hunt here. Um, yeah, I want to finish it, but we don't really have a lot of time left. Okay.
Was? Oh, it died. <laughs> I was so confused. Okay, how is it not producing enough power? Look how much power this is producing, but all of a sudden, like, everything is sucking it up. Okay, let's turn that off and let it build up some power. Yeah, there's so much power going, it's just not enough, I guess. Okay. Run back. There we go. <sighs> wow. Okay, guys, um, <laughs> I guess that's gonna be it for this episode. Just cuz we're out of power. But I guess I'm just gonna go in my house and AFK and hopefully build up a lot of power here. Maybe if we grab some more charcoal. We're not really using the charcoal for anything, so I don't mind throwing it away. These are full. Oh, are they not outputting? Because it's daytime. Yeah, okay. You have to power it for them to output. But, uh, I think that's going to be it for episode 12 of Grains. Guys, thank you guys for so... Wait, what? Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> um... Yeah, if you want to play, you can pick up the Feed the Beast launcher at the website in the description. Um, yes. It's called the Green Skies. Um, make sure you install the map before using the mod pack. It's pretty simple to set up. Um, and it gets much more complicated than this. Um, I've seen some crazy stuff done with this mod pack. Uh, but next time we will build the meat packer thing. And the way to get pink slime I'm pretty sure is to kill pigs. So we're gonna... I guess we're gonna have to breed the pigs first. But we're gonna get the pigs and we're going to get them into pink slime. And then we will make the precharger so we can get some ores. Because right now we probably don't need the laser thingy, but um, we might get a good reward. And then we can work on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to work on still. It's like. Yay! I also need this thing. Because these uh, hardened energy ones only do... Ooh, we could get another one for free. The hardened energy only do 400, I think. And this does 2,000. So we'd be able to move a lot more power. But not that we have power to be moving. It's actually coming in. You just can't see it because it's leaving so fast. That's the problem. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions on what I should work on, please leave a comment. Uh, that's about it. If you have any tips, because I am very bad. Oh, let's check the deaths before we leave. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you. Next, how do I do this? Oh. 17 times. There you go. There you go. 
lava. Oh yeah, I did die to lava. But it wasn't lava, it was um What's the word? It was molten iron, actually. Be careful, molten metals are very Oh my god, let me tell you what happened. This is the main reason I moved this. I was here and I got killed and I flew and I landed probably about here. Like it, not I was killed, it exploded. You know how it was always exploding? I landed about here, almost died, and was like, oh man, I'm so happy I didn't die. And then I'm walking again, knocks me off, and I fell, I think, this direction. Yeah, latest death. I fell, I don't even, wait, what? No, that was a different one. I fell like about here, but this, this was, this didn't exist then. And I just fell all the way down into the void, lost everything. I had to remake everything. This is my new pick. It sucks. I made my sword again. I had to make this thing again, which is tons of fun. You can, as you can tell, requires a bunch of junk. Um, made more food, which I'm gonna need to make again. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else I lost. I don't remember. I didn't have that much stuff. I lost the book, but luckily it's easy to get. You just get a piece of string. <laughs> Uh, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!